Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. In this Warcraft Rumble video, I want to talk about the Heroic Campaign. In case you're not familiar with the Heroic Campaign, the Heroic Campaign are the same bosses that you have already defeated, but in a more difficult version that you can do and that you can also complete with all five families. All five families doesn't mean that those minis have to be from five families, it's just that you have to complete them with five different leaders, each leader representing a different family. Families being Undead, Horde, Blackrock, Beast and Alliance. You unlock access to Hero Campaign at 50 Sigils. At 50 Sigils all the zones that you have completed in full will turn into their Heroic Mode. And in Heroic Mode the first layer of each mission with a new family gives you a major XP tome. And also, if you clear a heroic mission with all five families, you get 200 gold, 300 booster, and you get a sigil. So heroics are also the way that you can progress after you have completed the regular campaign at 75 sigils. However, the heroic campaign, it starts at level 11, as you can see here. Elven first, the first zone, gold tooth, the first heroic, starting at 11. So when should you start doing the heroic campaign? Obviously the regular campaign ends at 16, so heroic at 11 means that you can start doing heroics before you're done with the regular campaign, but should you? The main consideration here is your collection level, because the XP that you get from those major XP tomes, you're going to get a ton of XP from those, is going to increase exponentially as you gain collection level. For example, here you can see a level 21 collection, Major Tome gives plus 282 XP, level 22 it gives 304 XP, level 30 it gives already 520 XP, so you're going to get quite a bit of experience from those, especially if you can get your collection level up. For example, completing a single mission with five families, that's going to give you five Major Tomes, each of those will have three pages, so it's going to be 15 pages, which means that at level 21, all of those would add up to 4,230 XP. At level 22, it would be 4,560 XP. At level 30, those tomes would already give you 7,800 XP. So that's several thousand XP more just from completing a single mission with all five families. So from this, the plan starts to become more clear. Although there's also those coins to be had. There's also those levels to be had, which in turn become collection levels. So what should you do? You should prioritize doing entire heroics so that you will maximize your coin gain. So completing the first mission, for example, with all five families, because that's also going to give you coins. Coins in turn can be turned from grid into minis. That will turn you into more collection levels. So you will have more collection levels when you go into your following heroics. In general, I want to do the campaign as far as you can. I actually have pretty good insight into this because I have done this with a paid account with Booster and a couple of bundles, and I have done this with a completely free-to-play account, which doesn't have anything paid, not even the Booster. And my experience is that if you have a paid account, you bought the Booster, I mean, maybe already the Booster is enough, especially if you buy a bundle in addition, but maybe already the Booster is enough, then that means that you can do the entire campaign. You don't have to stop, you don't want to go to Heroics, you want to complete the full campaign, you want to get your collection level up, and then you go to Heroics. If you're completely free to play, you're going to hit some kind of a wall during the campaign. For me that wall was in Ungoro, at Uchlok and Ucha. That was the moment where my levels just could not keep up, so I had the option to just wait, do some Arclight searches, try to get some gold, slowly get some levels, proceed with the campaign. But at that point I chose to go with the first Elven Forest Heroics. Because the first Elven Forest Heroics can already be done as early as level 10. A level 10 army can clear some of those heroics. So then you get some of those heroics done, you're going to get a bunch of XP, you do just enough heroics so that you can progress the campaign again. And then if you get stuck again, then you go back and do some more heroics, and you can progress the campaign again. You won't actually do that many heroics before you're through the entire campaign, maybe just like a couple of zones, which means that any losses that you have from doing it with a lower collection level is still somewhat limited. So that's kind of fine. And then once you are through the entire campaign, you get your collection level up as much as you can, and you keep progressing through the heroics. So two different progression paths, depending on whether you're completely free to play or whether you invest some money. But delay heroics as long as you can, so that you will get as much XP as you can. But don't be afraid to enter some heroics already while your regular campaign is progressing, so that you avoid hitting a complete wall. 
Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.